one of the things that were clear from the Board of Trustees from the beginning of this process was to make sure that the Village Hall uh, remained an historic site and was preserved in perpetuity regardless of the legal structure, sale, lease back, um, whatever that may be. So it will be preserved through deed restrictions, through contract, and otherwise, so that the historic nature of that building will be preserved in perpetuity, regardless of which choice is made by the uh, village trustees. Mr. Rother, was there anything that you wanted to add on to that? Just that there would be a, a historic easement placed on the building, which would be enforced uh, by an independent trust that, that does that uh, nonprofit trust, the, the sole purpose of which is to enforce such easements. And, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to think about this issue. If, if somebody's just learning about this now, what is all this legal language? Perhaps you can talk a little bit about what a historic easement is, how, as a part of putting this out, um, you know, what that criteria is, what it means for the community. Maybe just a little background on that. Well, it goes, it goes even beyond the, um, the easement because uh, we do have, as a result of the um, uh, professional contracts that we let for the renovation of the building as uh, municipal offices, uh, we have plans and specifications for the exterior renovation. And as I understand it, Mr. Bauman is going to build into the redevelopment uh, agreements the requirement that the exterior of the building be renovated to the standards that we would have under the plans and specifications had we renovated the building for municipal use. Thank you. Uh, there was one comment, if you let me just organize myself. Can I make a 